<laughs> hey, what's up, people? So check this out. I'm using one girl to punk out a whole group of men through the gang stalking stuff. I've seen... Now, listen. I don't know this girl's name. I haven't talked to her in three or four years. I know we both greatly care about each other. I've only talked to her a few times. That was years ago. You know, I love her. That's love of my life, man. Anyhow. The only time they can get her to gang stalk me. She'll be a quarter mile down the street. And drive by. And she won't even do that most of the time. She, I've seen her. She, she's out here. She's out here making all these people that she's doing the gang stalking stuff with. She makes them look like punks. She was putting them up. She, she was putting them out of the car, and making them follow her. She was saying, even when I'm in my backyard lifting weights, there's a deck in my backyard, and I can't even see see the street half the time. And she's basically saying, "You punk bitch motherfucker, get out of the car and get in another car and follow me." Because you're a punk and JR is watching right now. And I can't have a punk in the car with me while JR is watching. So that's, <laughs> that's basically what this stuff is. And I don't even know her name. And I, have, and I don't even have open communication with her. The gang stalking program, even her own father can't convince her to do it. Where I'm coming from is if you want all this punk stuff, why can't you come look at me in my eye and let me know that's what you want? They gotta have her. They gotta have her parked at the dead end of the street, and I walk out, and she'll drive past in a car. And what they want is her to look at me in my eye. Man, why can't you? Why can't you be a man? And why can't the father do it? Can she do it with the father? That's my biggest question. Why can't the father bring his daughter outside? And I'll come to my front lawn, and he can walk past with her, and, and she can look me in my eye. And then maybe that'll make it easier for her. To, then she can try to do another guy and see if she can do it. And she can work her way on up to being able to do it every day and stuff. This girl will not look me in my eye, and the game talking program is pulling their hair out of the head. They don't know what to do. This is some punk stuff. The gang stalking program, what I don't get is this. If I'm in a car with a woman and she cannot look another man in his eye, that's going to make me feel like a punk. If I'm in a car with a woman and she makes me get out of the car and I got to follow her in another car just because some guy's outside in his backyard, that... She's basically saying, you're a bitch-made punk motherfucker, and you got to get out of your car and get a different car and follow me down the street because JR's in the backyard. What type of stuff is that? And if I was her father, I'd be really pissed. I'd be like, oh, you live in my house? JR is not coming to my house. You need to be with a guy who can come to my house and have dinner with you so we can be a family, and the family can be outside having fun. And if JR is outside, oh well, this is your neighborhood, you can walk down the street. Why can't you do that with JR outside? If I was her father, I'd, I, you know. So, this, she's putting people all out of the cars and stuff, and she had to run and, she had to run and hide and jump in a car because the car came next door and she couldn't gang stalk me from that house. She had to stop the car all in the middle of the street back up one time just because I was in the front lawn. Where I'm coming from is why do you that's not the life she wants but that's the life she has to live. And as she lives that life everybody around her looks weak and looks like some punks because they can't get her to do it. And now she and, and, and what's happening is this they're getting more agitated with her, and now they're now now when I when I'm gone, and I'm out of the picture, say Jr. goes and move, say I move away tomorrow, they're gonna remember they're gonna remember all this, 
and they're never going to have re true respect for her. They're never going to fully respect her because in back of their mind, they're always going to be thinking, you know what? You can, you can even go look that guy in the face, but I got to ride around with you in my car. You made me get out of the car and drive in a different car just because that guy was in the backyard. See, they're never going to respect her. She's dragging them through the mud. And, and, and they're jumping on her, breathing down her neck, dragging her through the mud. She's making them look like punks. And they're making her look like a punk. And so, that's what I'm saying. That's why, it's, that's why when I take my focus, I'm about to take my focus, I'm about to switch my focus to something else. And as I do that, as I disconnect my focus from her, they're just going to, they're going to start, they're going to look at her like, you had your chance. To, to 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 look at JR and do all that stuff you couldn't do it. They're gonna walk they're they're not gonna really want nothing to do with her anymore. You know what I mean? The game stalker program is gonna switch its focus to something else. And the people around her, they might be there for a few more they're gonna slowly start backing up from her. She she took she dragged them through the mud and made all them look like some cowards and some punks and made them look soft. And now they're ragging on her, making her making her look like a punk. Got her riding around all dogs. So this is this is just you know, this is just some stuff. I managed I managed to I managed to make the whole program look soft. 